Microneedling. Is it good or bad? Is it collagen induction or collagen destruction? Well, it could be both, and it depends very much on how it's done. Let me explain. In aesthetics, we're often taught that the end result of a microneedling treatment should be a red face with pinprick bleeding all over. And that's how people are trained, and that's often how it's delivered with pen devices, for instance. Now, the problem with that is that that's an inflammatory traumatic end result. And if you cause inflammation and trauma to the skin, the skin undergoes a wound healing response. Part of that response is to generate collagen 3 and then collagen 1. Great. That's what we're after, isn't it? Collagen induction therapy. But here's the thing. Physiological, healthy skin has more than just collagen 1 and 3 in it in terms of proteins. There are other components to the skin which you do not generate in a wound healing response. So you are not making skin that resembles normal healthy skin. That's the first thing. The second thing is, if you over-traumatize in one go, or if you repeatedly traumatize, you tip the balance from physiology or health into degradation. In other words, you release collagenases, matrix metalloproteinases, enzymes in the skin which break down collagen, the very thing that we're trying to generate with microneedling. You've got to be very wary about how this is delivered, because you can actually tip the balance in favor of destruction of the things you're trying to build if you're over-traumatizing. And the frightening thing is, this is how most people are delivering microneedling because that's what they've been taught. When someone takes the time to explain skin physiology, you'll understand that you can do microneedling in a way which works with your physiology, like hugging your physiology or nudging it along, if you like, as opposed to whacking it with a hammer. So my patients do microneedling at home. I've taught them and I've instructed them. Please don't do it without instruction. And I can't be specific with you on Instagram, for instance, because you're not a patient of mine. And it's against my code of practice as a doctor. You have to be a patient of mine for me to advise you on a medical treatment for you specifically. Now, I'm not talking about microneedling for scar tissue, for instance. I'm simply talking about the normal microneedling treatments that we have in the face. Um, and it's also worth saying, this is my opinion. Now, I've spent hours and hours and hours looking at cellular biology in response to microneedling, for instance. And this is my informed opinion, having done that. And people will disagree with me, especially those who treatment comes under the spotlight from what I'm saying. I'm not targeting anybody. I'm simply saying, please, let's think about and work with skin physiology to get the best response. And let's not do things that are damaging just because some company somewhere has told us this is the way to do it.